Welcome to the Trinity Connection, exploring the connection between the Bible and life. This is the first episode of the Trinity Connection. My name is Matthew Miller, and I'm youth pastor at Trinity Baptist Church in Shawnee, Oklahoma. This is something new I'm trying. I want to help the youth at Trinity Baptist Church and youth and adults everywhere take what they learn at church on Sundays and Wednesdays and apply it to their lives. Every week, I'll spend a few minutes with you, sharing an illustration from current events or pop culture. I know when you're not at school, math is probably the last thing that you want to think about. You've probably heard your math teacher say, You'll use math every day of your life. They're wrong. Wait! Wait! Don't go run tell your math teacher that your youth pastor said they were wrong. What you learn in math class will be important every day of your life. But you won't use all the equations and formulas you learned every day. Some educators question the type of math that should be taught. A recent book called The Math Myth argues that most people don't use algebra, trigonometry, and calculus after they graduate. LaGuardia Community College added a math course about math and personal finances, health, and civics, and says that students pass it at a higher rate than typical math classes like college algebra and calculus. I think they're missing the point of why to teach math. You don't teach algebra so that students learn how to solve for x. You teach algebra so that students learn to think abstractly and to solve problems. You won't need to use a polynomial every day, but you will need to know how to analyze problems and devise solutions. Some people approach the Bible like this. They treat the Bible like a guide to personal finances, or a parenting manual, or a way to find out what to say to that cute girl or guy in third period. If I were the walls of Jericho, I'd fall for you. No. So last night, I was reading the book of Numbers, and I realized I don't have yours. Just no. The Bible is not an instruction manual. It doesn't give you step-by-step -step instructions for living your life, like putting together a desk from Ikea. The Bible is the living Word of God. It's your direct lifeline to the Creator. Praying and reading the Bible is how you have a conversation with God Almighty. You don't call up your friend only when you need instructions for setting your microwave clock. God wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to talk with you on a daily basis. Psalm 1, 2, and 3 says, But who delight in the law of the Lord, and meditate on his law day and night. They are like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. We should delight in spending time in God's Word, not because we're searching for an answer to a problem that we have, but because we love spending time with God. As water is to a tree, so the Bible should be to a Christian, the very substance that gives us life. Don't just spend time in this book at church. Spend time reading the Bible every day. I would love to connect with you. Do you like math? Are you a secret mathlete? What is your favorite subject? Comment below and let me know.